Hello, I'm Elijah Roberts, a technical specialist at ATG USA. This is a Civil 3D interface introduction about the tool space tabs. We're using Civil 3D 2020. Now let's take a look at the tool space. Tool space generally is docked on the left hand side here when you first open up Civil 3D. If you don't like this location, you can grab the top of the tool space here where the name is and click and drag that away. Then it becomes a floating dock window. You can dock that anywhere that suits you. Or you could right click in the name area and then choose to anchor left or anchor right. To do this though, you must have the allow docking check marked on. So when I click anchor left, that will send it to the left hand side of my screen, but also it will auto hide it for me. So it's taking up as little space as possible while still being open. All I need to do to access my tool space is to move my cursor over the top of it and it opens up. I do what I need to do and then back out of it and go into my drawing and it rolls back into the side of the screen. So you are really maximizing your screen space. I can also turn off the allow docking so when I move it to the side of my screen it will remain floating and will not dock to the side. A lot of times people will accidentally turn off the tool space. There is a toggle on the home tab of the ribbon, the large button here on the left hand side. It is a toggle that will turn the tool space off and on. I'll click that and it turns it off and truly maximizes your screen space. If you find it necessary to get back into tool space, simply toggle it back on and it reappears in the last location of where you had it. In the tool space, we have the prospector tab, the setting tab, the survey tab, and the toolbox tab. The prospector tab is where we will create and edit objects or access them for managing. And you can see here all the objects like points, point groups, there's a little plus sign here which indicates they are open. If there's a surface in the file, you can open that up and access that surface from here. If I go to the settings tab, this is where all the styles are kept. Styles as such, if I expand open surface, I have an object style here for the surfaces. And there's a listing of all the different styles that we could use to access and apply to our surfaces in our file. Also in here are the label styles, the table styles and commands. The survey tab is for the survey database and also the toolbox tab. As I mentioned, you can turn these tabs off in the Palettes panel. Say you prefer to have the Toolbox tab off. Up here in the Toolbox tab, on the right hand, there is a Toolbox. That is the on and off toggle for the Toolbox tab. The one to the left of it is the Survey toggle. Above the Toolbox is the Settings toggle. And then to the left of that is the Prospector tab toggle. Now as I'm doing this, you may notice that some of these are getting out of order. The prospector and settings normally belong on the top here. The survey and toolbox are now displayed in different order. That's because of the order that I turned them on. I can easily put them back in the order that they were by turning them on in the correct order to do so. Click survey on and then click toolbox tab on and they'll go back in the order from when I started. Some third party applications may also add tabs to the tool space. It's rare, but it could happen. That would be for the third party software to describe how to toggle their tabs on and off. Usually when you load one, it will place it there automatically. So let's return to the prospector real quick and take a look at the active versus master drawing view. Up at the top of the prospector is the active drawing view. I can click that drop down and choose master view. You can see now that it says open drawings and then the name of the drawing. Again, the name is bold and highlighted so we can clearly see it. But if we scroll down a little bit further, we will see that I have another drawing file called surf-x. If I expand that open, you can see both of them show the exact information, but it's about two different drawings. As I mentioned before, it can get confusing if you don't clearly keep track of which drawing file you are working in. You can always tell that 
because that drawing file name is highlighted when you are in it. If I need to switch between drawing files, I simply right click on the file name and select switch to in the menu that pops up. Or I can hit close to close out that drawing file. There is a data shortcut area still open here. And then at the bottom are the drawing templates. This is showing me all the drawing templates, folders, and available types in a pre-selected location. 